Hi, I'm Connor Williams from the Toffee Blues YouTube channel um, and just talking about last season and the hopes for this season. Uh, so yeah, last season wasn't exactly great for us, saved on the final day and, you know, Abdelai Decore's goal, uh, which came against Bournemouth. Um, coincidentally, as I've spoke about on the channel before um, and Craig's had me on and I've been very, very happy at that final day result. Um, but yeah, I mean, as much as it was relief at the time to not be relegated and I can be happy that I, that we weren't, um, obviously it, there's nothing to, a uh, club of Everton stature, it's, it's not enough to be happy that you're not relegated. Um, it was a happiness of relief, but overshadowed by the fact that shouldn't be there really. Um, we've had a new owner, well, not new anymore, but you know, we've had our owner for five, four or five years now over 500 bill, uh, million pound that's half a billion pushed into the club on just transfers alone um obviously the new stadium's coming and that's brilliant um and that that will look brilliant and it will be brilliant for Everton as long as we you know stay in the Premier League um I don't think you know I don't know how going down would affect that but it'd be a bit of a shame to have a stadium like that um not in the Premier League um but yeah, 500 million on transfers and this is the second season now on the in a row on the trot where we're just scathing relegation. Obviously, it took that that Palace win, um, not like last season, but the season before, uh, which looked dire. It dire straits until um, Lampard moved the system around. Um, it looked a bit dire, so he moved it midway through that game. And then this season, um, again, Sort of similar to last uh, the season before. Don't think I think we sacked a manager that wasn't up to the job too late in the year, um, and then it leaves it even harder for the person who comes in. Did it this year as well, uh, which meant Sean Dyche had a bit of a tough job. Um, but yeah, so obviously just about surviving isn't good enough. Um, as for next season, it's a bit hard to tell, isn't it? I think it heavily depends on who, who we buy in the transfer window. We need to improve. The squad is looking very de de deflated and depleted. And the teams around us are improving. Bournemouth, um, I saw today, for instance, talk about Bournemouth because we're on, you know, we're on the channel. Um, you've got a new manager, very highly rated from Spain. And then you're looking at Alex Scott. You're looking f um, at the AZ left back who is highly rated as well um can't remember his name for the sake of me now but he's a very highly rated player so Bournemouth are improving um the other teams around us are improving Luton uh are improving they signed Chong who I think is a good signing because even if they do go back down I think he's a very good championship player who will what they're hoping for is probably bounce them straight back up um which is what Norwich did for a couple of years as well and it works you know, giving the club financial stability, doing that a bit because uh, of the parachute payments and stuff. Um, so we need to improve. Uh, we've signed Ashley Young, who I think isn't as awful as some people make out. He got games for Villa last year. He's a very good utility player. I don't think he'll be our full on left back um, because I don't think he should be seen out a 24 year old. But he's a good cover basis. And I think the club are going for other players that can cover a couple. We're after Nonto from Leeds. Good young promising player can play numerous positions. Um, we're after a striker. We've been looking at El Bilal Torre, Boniface. Um, we're trying to fit the mould of Calvert Lewin, where big physical striker, good in the air, can keep hold, bring other people into play. So, yeah, next season, I hope we're not where we were this season, but it heavily rides on how much Sean Dyche gets backed in the transfer window. And I think he does want a couple more players. Um, but yeah, so all riding on what we do in the summer. And I hope we have a good summer and a good season. But yeah, I've been Connor from the Toffee Blues. Thank you for having me on. Everton have signed Ashley Young. You know, a sensible signing, but they are going to struggle next season, aren't they? Oh, if, if they don't get some players in, that group they got there at the moment, if they've got the same group, they're going to be in a, in a relegation struggle again. Everton is one of the great football clubs. Mm -hmm. The tradition of the club... Evertonians, they know the game inside out. They love their club. Uh, they need it. They need better than what they're getting. They're, it's a. They need to bring some players in. They need to sign. You know, make some 
I don't know, no one seems to know who owns the club, who don't own the club. There's a lot of infighting always seems to be going on. Whoever owns, whoever, you know, they've got to give Sean Dyche some money to spend and look to recruit some good players. Otherwise, that group he's got there now are not good enough to uh, be out of a relegation battle. They're going to be struggling. 